A national effort to remove Confederate statues is also showing up in the Palmetto State as one group tries to remove a monument that has been on display for more than 100 years. Now, we've seen video of some statues ripped down during protests around the country. Here in our area, some people are urging lawmakers to take action to remove a Confederate monument in Lancaster. Our South Carolina reporter Greg Suskin found out this could be a long road, though, for opponents of that and want it taken down. Greg? Yeah, that's right. In fact, most Confederate monuments like this one here behind me were put up in the late 1800s or early 1900s. And in some cases, Confederate veterans were right there watching it as it was unveiled. That's in fact what happened here in Lancaster. But some say now is the time to take them down. This is a picture the day the monument was dedicated in 1909. Surrounding it, Confederate veterans who were honored that day. 111 years later, the monument seems untouched by time. Just weeks ago, a crowd marched nearby protesting following the death of George Floyd. Nene Blakeney led that effort, and she's now leading another against the statue she sees as standing against her. That statue represents the pain, suffering um, that my ancestors went through. Dr. Karen Cox at UNC Charlotte has written about Confederate monuments. She says where the statue was placed is significant. A lot of black Southerners felt that the, that placement adjacent to the uh, courthouse often meant, um, felt like a sense of injustice. Blakeney started an online petition to remove the monument, hoping to get enough names to push lawmakers to act. She doesn't support vandalism or its destruction. People are looking at us to do what everybody around the country has been doing, you know, tear it down. We don't want to do that. We want to stand for the right thing, so we want to do things the right way. A counter petition has also been started to keep the monument. Cox says removing it could be a long road for opponents. Those laws are the way they're designed. They're designed to, to make it very, very difficult um, for removal. And experts say the Heritage Act, which protects these monuments, would either have to be changed or tossed out by the courts in order to allow for them to legally remove these monuments. I did reach out today to people in support of this Confederate monument. Some folks with the Historical Society did not want to go on camera, told me they feared backlash for their views. Others, I simply did not have time to set up a, a, an opportunity to meet with them. Erica. Okay, Greg, thank you for uh, giving us some more history behind that statue.